Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Oh, picks. Are you hot? Feeling hot, hot, hot. It's 86 degrees out right now. Sunny. I'm the one that's sweating right now. Ooh, we that's just walked the dogs and Pixel was sprawled out on the ground. You can see her pile of drool right there. <laughs> she came in, she drank a bunch of water and she just flopped on the floor. Hey, what's that you got there? Is that water? I'll take some of that. <laughs> hey, you got your own bowl. It is hot. It's currently pretty warm in the yeah, house too. Ice cubes on my water cool. Yeah, down, you need to cool yourself off, drink some cold water. So we are at an outlet mall that even has, it's an outdoor outlet mall, and it even has its own mini golf in the middle. It's kind of funny. I guess if you get bored shopping, you can go play some mini golf. Shopping when it's 86 degrees Feel out for a jacket. Wow. It weighs it's like almost a pillow case. nothing. It's like a pillowcase but they really keep you warm. The um, down or whatever that is. Yeah, I got my Old Navy one. I've only had it one year and it's already starting to fall, like the feather or whatever, the fill is <laughs> poking po through. Poking out. Like, gosh, that looks this feels good like on nothing. You. That red looks good on you. I wonder how warm this is then. Oh, well, it should be able to give you a brief description on the tag, I would think. Boy, that's nice. I like that. All right, she wants to try the claw again. That orange one, Chelsea, can you see him back there? Yeah, but I want to get Or the red. I want to try and get the red. All right, put two in. And then hand me the other two so you can play. There you go. Right there. Come a little, oh, a little to the, that looks good. Oh man, nope. She wants to try one more time. She wants to try to get this. Oh, don't lose it. This one right here. Try one more time. Please, please, please. No. We're getting gypped on the claw machines. They're too weak. Are you looking at bibs? I think these are probably too big, you think? Bibs for kids. You know you have to pull the whole thing down every time you go potty. Okay, I just, I just All right. through. Yep, slip it right through. They should be a little big anyway. You don't want them to be too tight. No, no, she's got to go in that way. <laughs> Trying to put on overalls. Never had them when I was a kid. You didn't? Nope. I had them when I was older, I think. Oh my goodness, those are cute. That looks like a good fit. Yeah, there's a just. Yeah, you adjust the straps. Just, oh my gosh. Yeah, you. You're going to have to. They made it with even that. harder than it used to be. It used to be with a button in the front. Now they've got a button in the back. And it used to snap. Ours oh, always. That too, yeah. yeah our, ours always oh, snap. Oh, well, this one looks like this is the clip one. Oh yeah, that's what we had. That's what we had. Yep. That was kind. I remember that. Or she could just when you go to go potty, you just take it off your shoulder and shimmy on out of it. Yeah, <laughs> like that. But that's how you got to go potty every time. <laughs> Lovely. Yes. So we are, we're driving the rest of the thing, oh, right? I'm not even. No, I, we're I've not even. I've looked okay. and I don't see anything. So we're leaving empty handed, which is kind of, I don't know, I guess it's okay. But um, this was a Tanger, Tanger Outlets and they had a lot of the places that we go to normally. We didn't feel like their prices were oh, anything. Shoot, lost. Oh no. <laughs> anything spectacular we didn't find anything we had to have so i'm not a big fan of outlets and i never have been i just always feel like it's hoopla like they get you in there thinking that you're gonna get great deals and then it's just you find those same prices at like the regular stores so i don't know i wasn't really impressed i saw one thing at eddie bauer which was a jacket that i liked but i didn't need i don't really need it and it was like a water repelling or something. And I thought, well, it was nice. It looked nice. It was a good price, but I didn't really need it, need it. So we're leaving empty handed. Well, not but, totally. Why? <laughs> we're going to go spoil our dinner. Oh, no. <laughs> but I see we're pulling into McDonald's. Oh, oh, everybody else has the same idea. Okay, so we always get a cup or have a cup in the car for Chelsea for her ice cream when it starts dripping. And she's like, it's not doing anything. Inside your snack bag, you might have a spoon. I already tried. Oh, darn, striking out today. Daddy got hot fudge sundae. 
Mommy got vanilla cone and I also got a coffee because I had an app deal. I love their app deals. 99 cents. Can't there beat it. Go. There you go. Now you, how are you going to eat it? Oh, like that? And Chelsea is a lucky slug. I just happen to have a plastic spoon in the glove box. I know they're kind of hard to open. Daddy's a little bummed because he got pretty gypped on his hot fudge oh Sunday. Half full. <laughs> Even the cones used to be bigger, so McDonald's. Good size. Yeah, it's He's okay. Got good size cones. They're all right. They're they're decent. Since they gypped Michael, I offered him some of my vanilla, and he junked it up with his chocolate. <laughs> Get your chocolate off my vanilla. Get your chocolate off my vanilla. So I said, take some of ours. I actually ended up with fudge left over. Usually you never. Yeah, and you said you had like an air pocket or something. Yeah, the bottom had a big empty spot. There, that's still got chocolate too. Never mind. Where? Where? At the top. No, it's not. Yeah. I love chocolate and I love hot fudge, but I, want, I like a plain vanilla cone. Oh my gosh! There's still chocolate on <laughs> Where? I can't help it, it's all over. Uh, it's all over your beard, too. What's the problem, Pix? Are you stuck? How did you get back there? We'll just sit here for a while then, until somebody rescues me. Help her sister. There you go. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so we are going to plant Chelsea's bamboo, her lucky bamboo, which in um, researching, I discovered is not actually bamboo. It's what? It's not actually bamboo. It's not bamboo. No, it's not. Drak Drak Drashena sandarina. It's a whole feng shui thing. It helps um, energy helps create har harmonious and peaceful places in home. These are commonly given as like a um, a best wishes or like when you move into a home, like a welcoming gift. What's the word I'm looking for? Home house warming, warm. house warming gift, that sort of thing. But it's actually not really bamboo. And oh my God. what's really cool, there's a few really cool things about, about this. So you can actually just grow it in water, which is what we're going to do. Or you can plant it in soil. And if you plant it in soil, it will grow. Where this way it's more for decorative. Um, another whole like feng shui thing about it is you're supposed to keep them in odd numbers. So like one, three, five, seven for like the stalks. And it's supposed to be like symbolizing like good luck, good fortune. And one more thing, see these little leaves that are, that are shooting off here and here. Mm -hmm. If we wanted to, we could cut those off and propagate them and make more. But for today, <laughs> we're just going to be, so that's how they're able to keep it just in water like this at Home Depot until people buy them. And the way they got the spiral shape is when they grew these, they would twist it and turn it or move, the, like use different lights to get it to grow towards the light. And that's how they were able to get that shape. So I thought that was really neat. We're going to use our Dollar Tree rocks and our Dollar Tree vase that I've had for forever since before Chelsea was even born. Go ahead and carefully put some in there. Just a little bit on the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna kind of, the rocks are gonna kind of balance it out. And we're using um, drinking water because like you're not supposed to use regular tap water because it can get, get nasty. <laughs> it has chemicals, lots of chemicals in it. Where do you think you're gonna to wanna to keep this? I don't know. You don't know? Our plant sections. I'm pretty dirty over here. Should we move my daffodils or should we just bring the littles to the front, littles the bigs to the, to the back. The bigs to the back. How's that look, Chelsea? It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good? Yep. 